Okay, taking a look at this problem, when you first um, type it into your calculator, you can type it in here, make sure you have your parentheses typed in correctly. And then uh, when you go to the table, just try numbers to the left and right of negative nine. Now obviously, at negative nine, you do get an error because you'll have zero in the denominator. But at negative 9.01, you get 1.2, or 1.12, and at negative 8.99, you get somewhere near 1.12. So it does appear that the limit exists. So let's see if we can't figure out what that value is exactly using some algebraic techniques. When you looked at a problem like this uh, with the minus like that, you're going to definitely want this to do the technique when you have this uh, radical. We want to try and eliminate the radical. And the technique there is to multiply by what we call the conjugate of this expression so that when you do that, if you do that to top and bottom, you're not going, it's not illegal. You're just kind of multiplying by one in a strange form. And when you do that, it's going to eliminate that radical out of the numerator. And you'll see that that ends up being a, a cool thing from an algebraic perspective. So 8 times 8 is 64. Now, this is the whole nature of what you did here, forces this radical to fall out, because you're going to have 8 times the square root of x squared minus 17, but then you're going to have minus 8 times the square root of x squared minus 17. So the radical falls out, and then when you multiply this times this, it's just going to be the minus from there, and then the square root of something times itself is just going to be the inside. So it's just going to be x squared minus 17. Now in the denominator, you're just going to have that product x plus 9 times whatever this mess is. So don't even worry about that. Okay, all right, let's see if we can clean up the numerator a little bit. And you should start to see some good stuff happening. Um, we'll, we'll distribute the negative through, and so we'll have 64 minus x squared plus 17. All right, well that's cool because, um, let me rewrite this. The 64 plus 17, of course, is 81. And so then this is going to be negative x squared plus 81. Now, hopefully, you recognize this as the difference of two squares. You could write that as 81 minus x squared if it felt better to you. Or you could factor the negative 1 out, and you could see... How about we do it that way, because that seems to be real familiar. See, so x squared minus 81, that's the difference of two squares. That's x plus 9, x minus 9. That's how that factors. And so, this is a long one, isn't it? This is the limit as x goes to negative 9. All right, the negative's here. This is x plus 9 times x minus 9 in your numerator. We have an x plus 9 in the denominator. And then we have an 8 plus the square root of x squared minus 17. Well, the beauty of this, of course, is that the x plus 9s cancel, so you're no longer going to have that problem with the 0 in the denominator. So now we can just do a plug-in. And if we plug in negative 9 in the numerator, we're going to get negative 9 minus 9 over 8 plus the square root of negative 9 squared minus 17. All right, well... In the numerator, that's negative 18. And in the denominator, that's 8 plus, right, this is 81 minus 17. We've seen that before. That's 64. So it's the square root of 64, which, of course, is just 8. So this is negative 18 over 8 plus 8, which is 16. And if you're having a good day, you, you can use your calculator, right? <laughs> of course, you can uh, do it by hand if you want to. So this is 18 divided by 16. I bet that's something like 1.125. There it is. Or I guess we could reduce that fraction um, to be, let's see, uh, 9, 9 eighths, right? So negative 9 eighths. And was that, did that negative, was that in the right? Because when we went to our table, we did get a, oh, we didn't, we got a positive. So I must have screwed up here somewhere with my negative. Oh, here it is. Negative there, negative there makes that a positive. Sorry about that. And so this should be positive, 9 eighths. Oh, I made a little mistake. You've got to watch your negatives. 